Ladies, you should not feel bad about what you want in a husband. Do not ever feel bad or allow people to talk you out of the vision and the dream that God has given you. I shared in my community tab that um, when I was believing God for a husband, I had a picture of what I wanted in a husband. I wanted a mix of then Senator Cory, uh, Mayor Cory Booker, now Senator Booker, Senator Barack Obama, now President Barack Obama, that good lookingness of Boris Kojo, and a dash of Morris Chestnut. Tell me that's not what I have except for Morris Chestnut. You know, my husband's in car, no, he ain't darker. And so the re reason I shared that was uh, in one of the wife groups that we're talking yesterday about, you know, are you happy with your husband? Did you get did you get what you wanted in your husband? And I was like, yeah, I got exactly what I want. Only thing is, my husband is not dark skin, and but you know, it was okay for him with me. He's still a black he's still a black man, and a lot of the ladies were just shocked at how specific I was. And then I said, but I got that. I got exactly what I wanted. I love smart men. I love educated men. I love well-spoken men. I love men who has the ability to create wealth and have wealth. And that is exactly what I want. And that is exactly what I got. And I was, I'm working on finalizing the, my dating book and I was reading the part about marriage is supposed to be when God created marriage, it was supposed to be forever. It's not temporary. And so if we have this mindset of marriage is forever, listen, you're not going to be 10 years a girlfriend. You're not going to be shacking up. You're not going to be making babies for everybody you lay down with because you will have this mindset that marriage is forever. And you're going to be so much more mindful and careful of the man you choose to turn your life over to. Hey, girl. Hey, I miss you over the weekend. But it was Thanksgiving weekend. I figured, you know, just give you all a few days. You know, y'all was shopping, shopping and eating the turkey and stuff. And I was working on this book and spending time with family and Big Mike, you know. I share that Big Mike has a new uh, a new job. He was uh, vice president of marketing. Now he's director of marketing. So he's so, so, so much more busy, even though he's working from home. My husband is more busier now working from home when than when he was going into the office ever so often. And so, you know, he was off a couple of days and he was a baby. I'm going to cook everything. What you want? And so I was just enjoying my time with him and the kids. And so I said, well, let me give you all a few days. And, you know, I'm cutting back a little bit on my YouTube because I'm, I'm going to be over there on my Janice Hilton and uh, Menace uh, Mentor and trying to uh, grow that and expand that. So if you have not checked out Janice Hilton Mentor, be sure for those of you who are members here, paying members of YouTube, please go over and check out one of the membership um uh, plan. And uh, and those of you who are also on Patreon, I still have a few people over there. Go to Gene Sultan and check that out. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for those of you who picked up uh, something from uh, Alexa Full Boutique. You guys should be getting your packages tomorrow. I did UPS two days, girl. Mm -hmm. Amazon do two days. I can do two days too. Okay. So you should be getting your packages tomorrow. Uh, some of you, half of you, I did half of them uh, yesterday. So be sure to, uh, check that out. Uh, check your mailboxes. If you could just do me a favor, take pictures of the products, uh, go to the uh, website and do reviews, let honest reviews, tell me how they fit. Did you like it? How does the material feel and send us the pictures so I can upload them to the website. Okay. So I absolutely love you and adore you. So marriage is supposed to be forever. 
one of the reasons I do not encourage boyfriends. I don't talk about boyfriends other than don't have no boyfriend. Do not meet a man and commit your life to him is because boyfriends are temporary. I was working on this book. Dating is for data only how to date multiple guys for marriage. And I was writing, I was at the part reviewing the part about marriage is forever. How many of you know that God's initial intention is that marriage is supposed to be forever. We get to the book of, um, I don't remember which one, but after Moses brought the children out of, uh, captive, I think it might've been in Deuteronomy. Uh, the Lord says that God's initial intention was not for a husband and wife to be separated, to be divorced. He said, but because of the hardness of the heart of man, hear that, the hardness of the heart of man that he permitted Moses to write a letter of divorce. So we know life happens, stuff happens. More than 50% of marriages in the United States end in divorce. I promise you, and I don't really use that word, that I can cut the divorce rate in 50% if people would date the way I I am teaching and I am writing to date because dating is about data. One of the issues with dating in this society in the year of 20 and 22 of the Lord Jesus, sweet baby, sweet Jesus, is that we meet people and then you commit to them. And, and based on what you learn, you just make adjustments versus walking away versus understanding that dating is for data. You need to know what it is you want in a husband. You need to know the type of life you need to have, and you need to date accordingly, and you need to choose your husband based on how you want to live and the type of husband that you want to live. So if you meet Ray Ray Puki in Tyrone, who is not at the place where they want you, you want them to be, baby, you don't sit and wait for him to get there. You don't sit and wait for him to become the man you want him to be. You get up and you walk away. By the way, I am wearing the Alexa Full Everywhere jumpsuit. Oh, honey, so sexy, girl. Yes, and I put it with some boots because it was chilly this morning. And um, I had on this little jacket because, you know, it gets a little chilly in the office sometimes. Let me tell you, baby, when I put that on, my husband said, come here. Here's a hundred dollars. I don't need them brothers at the job trying to buy you no lunch and that outfit. Uh-huh. Everybody was complimenting today, honey. It's so sexy. The boo. Oh, so sexy, girl. Soon as it come back, honey, I'm gonna order every color they have. They only had this color. And I think I might be out of these. Anyways, so get up and you walk away. It is okay, ladies, to picture. The life you want to have, how many of you know that we serve a God of pictures? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In my book, Moments of Gratitude, that is on sale for Thanksgiving. You need to get it. <clears throat> if you don't have it, get it. <clears throat> I talked about how every day I would give God thanks for my husband. Every day I would say, I'm going to meet him today. When I went to work, I would dress up so nicely. The girls thought I was going on dates, but I said, no, I might meet my husband today. At break time, I would go walk through the financial district. We're downtown North, financial district. At lunchtime, I would walk and see, you know, if I met somebody, but I was exercising. I could walk and exercise. They said, Janice, girl, you been in here 16 years. You still the same size. I said, because I was walking exercise. But I said, girl, I don't get so pounds away a few, few years. Okay? We serve a God of pictures. So there's nothing wrong with having a picture of what you want. And I really believe that a lot of women choose, choose the wrong husband because you do not have a picture of what you want your husband to be. 
you just settle and and accept any old Tom, Dick, Harry that comes up to you and say, God, see, I remember the old church folk used to put a picture in my head. When I told them the type of man I wanted, they said, no, 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 baby, them educated men will beat you and abuse you, honey. Those men that work on Wall Street would abuse you. They cheat on their wives. And it made no sense to me, honey. They ain't no good. They can't love you right. They can't do you right. And the church folks made it sound like it was only the ugly broke man could love me, could treat me right. And there was the only one that saved the well-educated, well-spoken man that I want. I, I, he ain't saved, girl. He not going to treat you right. And, and you not, he not going to do right. You know what I said? <clears throat> there must be at least one saved black man working on wall street that's looking for a husband for a wife that's my husband guess where my husband work when i met him <laughs> i said that my husband you need to get a picture in your head did not god tell abraham abraham <clears throat> If you can count the stars, you'll be able to count your seed. If you can count the sand on the shore, you can count your seed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Did not God give Joseph, son of Jacob, a picture? Uh, did God not show Joseph what would happen, how his father and mother would come and bow down to him, how his brothers would bow down to him? Did God not give us a picture of the throne room in the book of Exodus? Did not God not tell us about the lamb that should be sacrifice after 14 days all do we not call jesus christ what the lamb of god where did we meet that lamb did we meet him in the book of matthew mark luke and john no baby we met that lamb where that god first sacrificed to cover adam and eve did God not give us a picture of King David being a type of Christ? Did God not give us a picture of Moses being a type of Christ? Come on, somebody. So if God talked to us in pictures, and even God said to, to, to um, Adam, Adam, I'm big God in the heavens. And that you, you, you're supposed to be little God in the earth. In other words, Adam, do what I did. You see the stars? I named them. What's that, Adam? Cow. What's that, sheep? What's that over there? Chicken. So if God talks to us in pictures, why should we not have a picture or an idea of what it is that we want? I am not saying to visualize a man. Okay, I am saying, ladies, that knowing what you want in a husband is a blueprint and is a picture. I knew I wanted my husband must be born again. I didn't need him to be super spiritual. I just need a brother that was saved and loved God. I didn't want no preacher, pastor, prophet, musician. I, I just need you to come to church, get the word, go Sunday school, pay tithes, and go home. That's what I got. <coughs> <coughs> I needed a man who was a tither. I know people trying to tell you not to tithe, but if you have the true revelation of tithing, uh, you will know that God is now forcing you huh to give it's not a give or else you're gonna go go to hell it's god you've been so good to me 
Hallelujah. It's understanding like God gave his son, Jesus. I need to give back what God has blessed me with to him. It's like, I understand God, you gave me your son. I'm going to bring my children to you at three months old and dedicate them to you. So beloved, if God has pictures and God talked to us in pictures, why, why do you not have a blueprint a blueprint of what you want in a husband. Why do you continue to keep meeting men, laying down, having babies, has shacking up? Why do you continue to have boyfriends? Every other month you have a new one. I just can't keep it. I remember this one girl. I finally unfriend her. I'm like, my Jesus, I cannot keep up. And then she would be emailing me. To, I'm like, girl, you just, you was in love last week. You in love with somebody else this week. So ladies, don't be afraid. My only issue is make sure the man you want, you can attract him. That's my only issue. Can you attract him? Hmm, I don't teach femininity on here because, you know, YouTube, I'm Cousin Janice. I'm like, girl, what? Uh-uh, she said, well, uh-uh. I don't teach femininity on here, but I will be teaching it. In, in on my James Hilton platform and see people think femininity is just something you put on. No, femininity is who we are. God created us as feminine women. You're not feminine at home around your man, but then you go to the store, you be rude and nasty to the cashier. You're, that's not a feminine woman. So don't be afraid. Just make sure the man you want that you can attract him. Because if you cannot attract the man you want, it don't matter how much you want him, girl, he's not going to approach you. You're not going to attract him. And I really do believe that a lot of us, a lot of single women are not, their husbands are not coming because of the words that you're speaking, the things you're doing. And a lot of women are way too masculine and masculine men will not approach a masculine woman because to him, you're a man. You're not a woman. You are a dude. So he don't want to do the dude. He wants a soft feminine woman. I have to go. I absolutely love you and adore you, honey. I was getting revelation and insight from reading my own book. Okay. And so this book is coming very soon. The husband list is, is coming very soon. The husband profile, the husband profile is very, is coming uh, very, very soon. I absolutely love you and adore you. Um, if I don't see y'all tomorrow morning, girl, mm -hmm, just be in the comments. That's all I'm saying. But come on over to Jane and Hilton Mentoring. I'll be spending more time over there. Thank you again for those of you who checked out Alexa Full Boutique. Alexa Full Boutique has um uh um tights on sale. Okay, go ahead, sister Lexi. Go ahead, Sister Lexi. Sister Lexi um, got a couple of orders. Thank you, Jesus. She's Let me tell y'all, she's so excited. Let me show you the tights she has on sale. Okay, these are called the Softer Than Butter. Mm -mm. Softer Than Butter tights, okay? And they are, um, they are on sale. I think they're on sale for $10. And... Um, Softer than butter. So go over there and check them out. Products. I was in the computer. That's why it's taking a little long time because I wasn't on there. Go over to Alexa Full Boutique and check out the softer than butter ties. That's the Black Friday. They're all $10. Um, so thank you for those of you who have shown love and support. She is so excited. When I tell you this girl is grinning ear to ear, boo-boo, ear to ear, boo-boo. Okay. Ooh, that one is gone. Are you guys seeing that one? So they're moving. The, their tights are moving. They're moving, moving. I have to check to see the orders that she got today. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. They are moving, moving, moving. All right. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Sold out. The large size is sold out. Mm -hmm. Large rustic is sold out. Oh, small rustic is sold out. Medium rustic is sold out. Or do I not have that one? I 
I don't remember. I got to check it. But anyways, I love you. I adore. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Bye.